Hello, my name's John Magnus, and my family owns Magnus Family Farms. We're a small farm that has about 42 mama cows at this time, and we raise beef directly for the public. Well, I'd like to visit with you about what is a bull worth, but let's start with what does a bull cost? You know, you can buy a crossbreed bull for about a dollar and 10 cents a pound. So a thousand pound young bull will cost you about thousand to fifteen hundred dollars depending on what he weighs. You can buy a good registered Angus bull for between thirty five hundred and five thousand dollars and a really good bull will cost you five to ten thousand. Or you can artificially inseminate and for about seventy five dollars you can breed to a really good hundred thousand dollar bull that's owned by a semen company. Well when we bought this set of cows that I'm going to talk to you about, they had a bull on them that was a crossbreed bull and I wasn't very impressed with the calves and I thought well we can do better. So I bought a good Angus bull, I paid five thousand for him and our calves did get better. And so I kept thinking well, what can we do to increase the quality of our calves and the amount of weight in our calves. So after some research I considered using an American blue bull. And I did some research and I found a few breeders that breed for calving ease and low birth weight bulls. And you've probably seen the pictures of these bulls on the internet who are extremely heavy, excuse me, heavy muscled, you know, the ones in Europe. And these don't look like those, I'll tell you that. But they do have a lot of muscle. And so we bought a bull. And I uh, was a little concerned, but when our calves were born, our calves were about the same size as our Angus calves. And I really thought, man, I, I might want my money back because these calves don't look any better. But when they were about 30 to 45 days old, the quality really started to show up. They got thick across their loin on the top. They were long and they were just a little thicker than our Angus calves. And so I called several of my buddies that raise cows and I said, hey, this might not be for you, but you may want to come consider this or at least look at what's going on here. And I called about 10 or 12 people and only two showed up. So I know not many people are willing to do something different or to try something new, but just in case you are, I'm saying you might want to consider an American Blue Bull. Well, this fall we weighed those calves and we weigh our calves every year, November the 1st. We turn our bulls in the same time every year, so there's apples to apples. We weighed 30 calves. Seven of those calves were Angus calves on first calf heifers. But the average on all 30 cows, with their, or the 30 calves, was 97 pounds heavier than they were a year ago with a really good Angus bull. That's substantial. And when you do the math on that, if your calves weigh 100 pounds heavier, and by the way, that was the average with seven calves that weren't half Belgian blue. So our average on the blue calves were probably a little bit higher than 97 pounds on 23 calves that were blue calves. We just didn't have time to separate them to get different weights. Well, when you do the math on that, if calves are bringing $1.40 a pound when you wean them, and you've added 100 pounds to 30 calves, that's about $4,000 gain. So you can do the math and tell me, what is a bull worth? Well, you can tell right away an American Blue Bull is worth a lot more if he's going to add that to your calves. People ask, well, what about color? Well, the bull we used was about 50% white, and we used them on commercial black cows. And every one of our calves were black, a few of them had a little white on their belly or on their legs, but for the most part, they were all black. Even two of our old recip cows that were brown had black calves, solid black calves. Um, but there was a few with a white on their feet or white on their belly. And uh, so we switched to a solid black bull. And all of the calves out of that solid black American blue bull were solid black even though you know there was probably some some frost colored or white in there. Second question people ask, what about calving ease? Well, we calve all 23 of those cows had calves on their home 15 miles on their own 15 miles from our house. We checked them every other day, no assisted births, didn't pull any calves. There were a few big calves, but the same cows that had big calves had big calves at a low birth weight Angus bulls also. 
and that's just the way it is. You can't control the genetics on the cow side as much as you can on the bull side, and you'll have some big calves in every breed that you do. So, I know this is a lot to take in, but if you haven't considered an American blue bull, I encourage you highly to do that because we are extremely ecstatic with the quality of our calves. And, you know, that brings up something else. They, people say, well, are they great big calves? And no, they're not. They're about the same size as our Angus calves in height. Um, they just are a lot longer, a lot thicker across the top, and just a lot more quality in those calves when it comes to just a little bit more muscle. And, you know, if you're only after weaning weights and big calves, you know, there's a lot of exotic breeds that you can breed to who are enormous. It's kind of like breeding a quarter horse to a Clydesdale. It's not hard to get a great big calf that weighs more, but it is tough to get one that is has the same birth weight but matures better with more quality. And that's what we feel the American Blue um, Bulls did for our operation. And so I'm gonna encourage you, just take a look. It might not be for you, but it might help you in the long run. And I'm gonna put a picture. We just bought three more of these bulls, and I'm gonna put some pictures up here. We bought one from James Casillas in near Hot Springs, Arkansas. We bought one from Steve Dollarhide. Actually, we bought two from Steve Dollarhide, but I have bought calves from Larry Hall from Ardmore, Oklahoma also. And there's American Blue Breeders all over the country, and I'm sure it's just like quarter horses or anything else. You have to do your research and make sure that you have quality genetics and somebody who has enough numbers to produce quality bulls. And I thank you for your time.